Doctor, I bring in all the wishes and greetings uh, from Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Uh, Sajal Sharma for scoring rank number 10 in NESS 2023 in the field of DM critical care medicine. Best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you. So can we uh, can we know a brief background history of Dr. Sajil from where he started his career until date, what all he's done? Sir, I uh, did my MBBS from Institute of Medical Sciences, Banaras Hindu University. And I've done my MD in anesthesiology also from the same institute. Currently, I'm about to give my MD examinations. And uh, subsequently, and, uh, side by side, I prepared for this and I've given INAS also. Is your MD exam over? Uh, it's about to uh, be over. Like in July, it will be over. Okay, great. Now, uh, can I know why critical care medicine? So, from the days of my uh, like MBBS only, I was very much interested into general medicine and uh, mostly the emergency part of it. So, uh, when opting for the branch in uh, PG, I took uh, anesthesia because it was it gave me a much more exposure to the emergency part of it than the general medicine. And subsequently, to get more into deep into that field, I opted for this. Critical care. In critical care uh, medicine, was your NES as the primary exam or NEET as the primary exam? So I was preparing for both of them. I was preparing general medicine also side by side and, uh, and for this also. Because so, both exams for background of feeder branch of MD and CC yes. totally different. Yes, sir. Because NEET SS, you need to go through general medicine through Harrison of 20% yes, and, and yes. that stuff. And for critical care medicine, as such critical care medicine plus 25 or 30 questions from general medicine. So how were you able to balance both? Sir, um, I like the, all my, the entire preparation of mine was through uh, speed only. Be it the general medicine part or be it the critical care medicine part. I started my preparation from like uh, from the mid half or uh, like one year back from last January. So I tried to complete my notes within six months. And since then, I've been uh, consistently trying to revise them as much as possible. So that's how sir. So how much of time you used to give for critical care? How much of time you used to give for general medicine? Till uh, this, uh, before this January, I used to uh, keep on revising them. And uh, it was like he, uh, I started from general medicine and uh, by completing general medicine, then revising the critical care. And this goes in a cycle. So once uh, the, the entire thing is completed, then I again. But after January, it was like key now NISS is very close. So I uh, concentrated more on uh, this critical care part. So critical care part, how did you do? I mean, uh, I mean, what all you did to do it and how much it helped in your exam? I watched uh, the, the videos which are there on, uh, on the lectures. And also the more helpful uh, in the, uh, by the end as I was coming uh, around February, in the late February, I realized that something was missing in my preparation even after the videos. So then I even uh, tried to search uh, whether I'm something, is something there on the app which I'm not, uh, which I haven't seen and done. And then I realized that there, there were two series. One was the high yield series and one, uh, uh, the high yield series and one was the crash course series. So those, after doing those two things, uh, my preparation like boosted like anything after, uh, within, uh, within a one month. So by uh, March, I was able to, I, I had completed it. And from March till uh, 29th of April, I kept a target like as I've uh, recently done these. So I need to revise them. So I kept a target that at least three to four times I'll complete this revision before appearing for the exam. Uh, and, and background of anesthesia, critical care, uh, Medicine uh, subscription and speed is a ocean actually. I mean, uh, there yes, are a lot of verticals for anesthesia and anesthesia, yes, critical care, critical care medicine verticals, basic, yes, high yield. And uh, it's it's like uh, it's like a kind of a stuff where you can choose what you wanted to do. Yes, sir. According to the background. It, yes, sir. And it's not entirely sir, like uh, INES is critical care based. If uh, I felt like because I have read general medicine also, some questions were easy because of that also. So that also helped. Like one cannot go entirely for critical care without general medicine. This one of my senior told me that if you are going for critical care now, or e either now or later, you will have to read general medicine. So that has to be. Now you tell me, doctor, because there are a lot of students from MD anesthesia background want to do critical care. But yes, the problem is, in any SS, the number of seats are restricted or limited. 
But the problem is, at least in in ESS, they can go to hardcore critical care with the background of anesthesia, where yes. they come to. But when they have to choose neat ESS, it's totally a different ball game. That means they yes. have to go through the entire general medicine on that perspective. Because yes. very unfortunate, they moved critical care from the middle branch of uh, MD pediatrics to general medicine. To have been part of uh, anesthesia background itself, where the people have done in that, then probably they would have had a little more uh, easy way of preparation. But unfortunately, it is not there. So now you tell me how to do this, I mean, how to balance it and how to take the preparation ahead. So for me, what I did was was very like uh, when doing my duties, like I was like, Ki, ha, if something is going on, I'll be very much oriented because uh, uh, during the uh, residency period, because one of the main issues sir, that uh, if uh, someone is going to prepare for NEET SS, they have to read general medicine and within a year or whenever they start the preparation during MD, they have to appear for MD examination also. So that cannot be left behind. That has to be studied side by side. So uh, my strategy was that uh, uh, before going to duty, I used to uh, wake up early and try to read it and uh, try to read the general medicine part. And during the duty, whatever is being seen uh, that uh, goes on the, uh, uh, that uh, kind of helped in the anesthesia learning part. So uh, uh, like this, I used to manage that. So I, if, uh, I have to do go for duty around 8.30. So I used to wake up early, like around four or something. And then I, before going to duty, I used to read all the, uh, all the general medicine part. So like this, uh, uh, I have tried to manage. It has to be done. It has to be done. There's no other go. Yes, sir. Okay. So because uh, until the previous syllabus, before the previous syllabus, it was everything on critical care to study and go on right. Yes, uh, now general medicine and on one has to be learned to the standard of people in the background of general medicine to that standard. At the yes. same time, as you said, they have to pass their MD or a DNB finally or upon a CCR. Yes. And that also has to be done. So, and uh, it's a challenge, as you said, how you balanced was very good. And now you have proved it uh, appropriate that you've done uh, great in your exams. So what is the message that you want to leave to the juniors and what do you want to tell them? and to choose as a specialty of critical care medicine. So the one message that I would say that uh, if you like uh, raise 0 0.99 to the power of 365, and if you rate 1.01 to the power of 365, there will be a significant difference. So that 0 0.01 makes a significant, so keep on doing even little, if you are not even not able to study, like try to give at least half an hour to one hour. And if this consistency is maintained, you will never know from where one hour you reach to four hours or five hours of them. So like even a small effort should be done every day. Like that should be the discipline. Great. So we wish you all the best and all the success, the great career in critical care medicine years to come. Keep going, doctor, keep inspiring as always like this. And with your efforts, I think you will touch millions of life and will be a life-saving profession you have chosen. Best wishes to you. Thank you, sir.